Okay, now we will uh, go for the science in radiology uh, presented by Dr. Mahabad. Good morning, dear colleagues. Thank I'm you. They're your training. They're your president. You're not a training. Okay. You're a specialist under underlying the police part here. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, dear colleagues, and thank you for Dr. Amar who helped me changing the last one. Our first um, sign. What's this, guys? What do you see? What's the sign? What's the sign? So, anyone? No. 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 So, Shall I comment? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me comment on this x-ray. This is an x-ray of the knee joint of a um, skeletally adult patient. Uh, it shows the distal femur and the proximal tibia and fibula. The x-ray shows a serpiginous lesion occupying the metadiaphyseal area with the lucent uh, area inside. It's not a soap bubble one. This is called the. This is called the smoke up chimney sign. Smoke up chimney sign. Yes. Passing to the MRI. This is T1. And this is T2. I will pass to the sign and then back. It's called smoke up the chimney sign. Medullary lesion of the sheet-like central lucency surrounded by sclerosis with a serpiginous border. This is the X-ray finding. Talking about the MRI, the key feature is that central signal remains of normal marrow. My colleague has a little bit uh, made a trick to my sign, but I don't know, no one picked up here. This is regarded as a bone infarction. So, and T1, the peripheral low signal due to granulation tissue and to lesser extent sclerosis. Periphery may enhance post gadolinium and T2 weighted acute infarct may show ill-defined non-specific area of high signal. Intense inner ring of granulation tissue and a hypo intense outer ring of sclerosis. So, whenever you see this appearance, yeah. it, is, it is highly suggestive of bone uh, infarction. Bone infarction. Yes. Uh, however, you need to have a history of why is there is bone infarction. Is there any blood dyscrasias, any steroid therapy, yes. any yes. whatever? Okay. Yes. Second, it has other names. High sign. She's a woman. Double ink sign, Chinese letter sign. Chinese letter sign. like Chinese letter. The next is sign. No. Okay. Okay. So bone infarcts are often thought to be in the same spectrum of diseases as osteonecrosis. Occurs when then the metaphysis or diaphysis of long bones, and it's similar risk factors as those seen in osteonecrosis, trauma, skill cell disease, connective tissue disorder, gaucher's disease, and steroid use, as our sir said about the mechanism, interruption of blood supply by intrinsic or extrinsic factors, usually asymptomatic, often found when imaging the extremities for other reasons. Nice. Nice. Shall I pass to the second Beautiful. sign? So, the second sign here, oh, well, I said it before you realize. Here you can see that the liver is passing up to the chest. As an abnormal dome, it's like yeah. permeating somehow into the chest. Yes, yeah. mostly due to diaphragmatic rupture. And this is no, called it's not a venturation. the cottage love sign. Really? So, the size? So yeah. in the cottage love, you have the cottage love, you have okay? But Okay. 
ما حتى نتصور وما ننساها دكتور اوكي سو ذا كوتج لوف ساين occurs as a result of a right-sided diaphragmatic rupture with partial herniation of the liver through the diaphragmatic defect. The herniated component is separated by a waist at the diaphragm from the larger intra-abdominal component. This shape is reminiscent of a cottage loaf, which is a United Kingdom famous bread, a particular shape of bread in which larger and smaller, roughly spherical balls are squashed together, forming a cottage shape. And this is the bread. Squashed together. Thank you very much. Excellent, beautiful, and delicious.